Hello everyone, so I thought we'd do like a quick little fun video today where we just go to the bookstore together, you and me. I've been very busy with like drag stuff and like other fun stuff, um, so I'm gonna film on my phone today to just like make it easier for me. Um, but I've been watching a lot of Brad Mondo, my newest obsession. He reacted to like a video of all these people doing Liberty Spikes like a long time ago, and I was thinking... I could do Liberty Spikes with my hair. So that's what we're doing today, and then we're going to the bookstore. Okay, I hope you enjoy. So those are the Liberty Spikes fun. Let me, can you see? Doesn't look good, you tell me. Um, so my instinct now is to put on something like punky, right? But I'm not really a punky person, so I'm thinking like the contrast will be cool and I'll put something like super sweet and cute and then have this going on. This is kind of leaning to the words of like, it's hardcore guys, like, Look at that, like it's just, it's in there. So I decided to go for something casual to the bookstore. Um, no need to dress up, these are just my pajamas. Yeah, I think we're doing no bra today. I mean, you can't really see anything. Um, yeah, just something natural. I'm walking to the bookstore now. Um, we're almost there. There are some like new restrictions in, um, wow, this tree is really long. Um, there's some new restrictions in Denmark which say you have to bring your own cart um, to all stores and stuff. So I got this little um, rolling cart that I can put my books in. I am really excited. We're here. So right when I step inside, it has like this beautiful um, wallpaper on the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it quiet, like I don't want to disturb any of the other costumers. Even though it seems like there's not many here right now. You guys, I love the decor of this place. Like the Adventure Time poster, I wonder if I can buy that. The only down is they have some like Harry Potter stuff, which obviously we don't support. Um, don't love that, but let's have a look at the books. So cute. They gave me like a coffee at the door. Um, unfortunately it has a straw in it, but still like so sweet. So it really seems like they have like a little bit of everything here. I can't tell like at all how it's organized. This seems like sci-fi. Uh, unfortunately they put like this chair right in front of like half the books i can't even see them um which is just horrible setup but wow this chair looks so comfortable <gasps> oh my god this book i love this book Look what they have, One Last Stop by Kate McQuiston. McQuiston. Sorry, Casey McQuiston. Um, I think I want to get this one. I haven't, I've read it, but I listened to it as an audiobook, so I would really like like a physical copy. Um, so I'm going to put that in my cart. <gasps> Do you guys see that? <gasps> a Song for the Wild Belt by Becky Chambers. I read this one too. I got an arc of it. I have a review up for it. I'll link that in the cards but I just still don't have a copy. I'll get the hard one because I just love her so much. Oh my God, they also have the album of Dr. Moreau. Should I get this one? I did read it and didn't love it, but I feel like it'd be cool to have a copy. And I mean, this place is really cute. I feel like I should support them. I just asked the staff here and they said this is actually the last poster they have. So they said I should just grab it off the wall. <gasps> Look at that, it's so cool. I can't wait to like come home and hang it up. I'm gonna put that down 
there. I've actually read like the majority of the books they have here, which is so insane, but there's more shelves. So let's go and check those out. Guys, they have a queer section. Yes. Also, can we talk about how many stunning plants there are here? This one's so cute. And I will def- oh, is that a pink carrot? I will definitely be doing this bucket thing idea at my place because this is so clever. I love it. Oh my god! Here are some like really cool comics. Be Gay Do Comics. I've been looking for this one for such a long time. Wow. Oh my god, these comics. <sighs> Guys, I literally want to read like all of these and these all of oh my god all of these are like new releases That's so crazy um, Oh a quick and easy guide oh, Oops embarrassing. I'm like making everything fall um, a quick and easy guide to consent. I love these quick and easy guide ones I think I'm gonna get this one. I think Cosmo Nights and Moth and Whispers I both heard from Sage I do really want to get those, but I think I already have them at home. <gasps> family tree. This is the third volume of Family Tree. I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Definitely gonna put that in my cart. <laughs> Drop the poster. Can't forget that. Ooh, what's this? I saw this one on, I think, Kathy's channel. She read it, I believe, short story collection. It's called Everyone on the Moon Stories by Jillian K. Jarbo. Oh, Everyone on the Moon is Essential Personnel. So it's like some sort of sci-fi. Ooh, nice. I love the cover. You guys, look at that. That's so nice. There's such a nice color scheme. Oh my god, guys. Literally, there's five crow. Maybe if I don't say anything, maybe I'll just. Wow. It is honestly like a mess how it's organized, you guys, but it's kind of cute, like with the plants everywhere and like, you guys, like the posters. If I had this much space at home, I would definitely style it like this. Like, so cool. I love it. Keep looking. This section, guys, is so cute. Like this little house. I wish I had that at home. And there's so many good like releases here. I love it. Oh yes. Here's a fam and Tori's Liars. Getting that. Okay, but let's be honest though. Like how crooked is in that show? Still cute though. I think I'm gonna get this one. I heard about it recently when chatting with Bert. Uh, apparently he and Sean really like this book. And the author was mentioned in Gay Bar, which I really enjoyed. I think I'm gonna get this one. Holy shit. How did I not notice? <gasps> ah! Stunning. Yes, getting, getting, getting. My cart is becoming so full so quickly. I think I'm gonna have to leave soon. So they have one more room that we're going to take a look in. Um, I think this is like the comics area. They kind of have like, it's not very well organized like the store, um, it's just kind of like books everywhere. But this one, I think it's like exclusively comics and graphic novels in there, but let's just go in and have a look, shall we? Okay. <gasps> Whoa, they have some like really great comics. Also again, like they put the chair in front of the books. Um, which is just hopeless because I can't see the books behind here. Mm. It seems like they're organized after publishing company, which I really appreciate in comics. Like, that's the way it should be organized and, like, how most stores do it. But so far, I feel like this place hasn't been like most stores. But we enjoy that. Here's for a second. Ooh. <gasps> The League. I'm definitely gonna get this one. I really enjoyed it. It's like a cli-fi middle grade um, graphic novel and the illustration style is so cute. I don't think I can show you because like copyright stuff, like bookstores are usually pretty strict about that shit. But definitely getting this one. So underhyped by the way. Guys, my cart 
is getting so full and it's like leaning forward. Can you see that? Can we also just like take a second to appreciate like how cute this setup is? Um, they have like some bookshelves up there. I love the style. Um, this is also really cute. They have Funkos. I wonder if the Funkos are for sale. Hey, yeah, sorry. Um, do you sell these or are they like just decoration for the store? We threw away the packaging, but yeah, absolutely. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, you can buy like just like that. Oh, yay. I'll definitely get it. Oh my God, they have an adventure time section. I love that, but it seems like they only have up to 11 and actually like I read exactly up to 11 and I just need like volume 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. What's the coincidence that literally I read these and the ones I'm missing that are not here? Like, that's so crazy. So I'm just gonna buy the books that are in my cart and then I'll tell you more of like some a little review um, once we've left the store. Oh my god. Bye. Thank you so much. I loved your store. Bye. some construction going on but hopefully you can still hear what I say um, so I'm walking home again now the bookstore was really cute like the aesthetic amazing the book selection was like almost so good um, that like there's no point in buying anything because I like literally have all these book at, books at home um, which is just so crazy like when you find a match that's too matchy like and what's even the point, you know? Um, but so, 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 such a cool place. Um, but so freaking dirty. Like, like I'll insert some clips like right now. Like I didn't want to talk about it in the store, but it was just so much dust everywhere. Um, like that place needed, needed a deep cleanse. Um, but like, I definitely recommend checking it out. I don't remember what it's called right now. Um, actually, I forgot the name of the store, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. There probably won't be some videos for a while, but thank you guys so much for watching and sending y'all so much love as usual.